Well, who is the highest paid public employee in your state? Well, according to this tweet in 40 states, the highest paid public employee is either a D1 basketball or football coach. Hashtag big business. It is tax day 2014 here at Campus Insiders. The tax man cometh and he wants some payroll tax is what he wants. <laughs> We're looking at some of the college coaches and best bargains. And let's start with that list here first, Doug. And uh, starting at number five, David Cutcliffe at Duke, $179,000 and change for each of the 10 wins for him in Durham this year. Oregon's Mark Helfrich is fourth in the list, followed by the Big Ten Coach of the Year, Mark D'Antonio. Then it's Minnesota's Jerry Kill at number two. And the best value in college football, it's Brian Kelly, believe it or not, at Notre Dame. A bargain at $120,000 per victory. So, Doug, who on this list deserves a raise? I've got to go with Cut Cutcliffe because he's the one that jumps out. If you look at those five schools, all those schools besides Duke, have had some semblance of success in football. Cutcliffe has gotten them back to the successful time that they had some of Steve Spurrier was coaching there back in the day. Two consecutive years going to a bowl game. And I tell you, it starts with what he's able to do on the field with quarterback play. They end up going to lose a quarterback. Brandon Connett transfers out to be close to a sick mother. They've got Anthony Boone, though, is returning. They lose offensive coordinator Kurt Roper. He was very, very creative with the offensive play calling last year, but Cutcliffe will be able to get these guys going. They have a favorable schedule. They should be 4-0 when they go down and play Miami, who they can win that football game, but he deserves a raise. Those athletic directors, they have no problem signing that check. Like but then checks. there's the other end, though, of the spectrum, and guys that are really expensive when it comes to victory. Let's take a look at that list. And starting at number five, it's Butch Jones at Tennessee, $972,000 for each of their five wins last season. Fourth in the list, Kentucky's Mark Stoops. He's followed by Brett Bielema at number three, Daryl Hazel at Purdue, pretty costly in that one. One win for Sonny Dykes at Cal last year came at a very heavy price, 2.4 million bucks. But Doug, as you noticed there, there are three SEC coaches on that list. Who's going to turn things around the quickest? Yeah, it's tough to win in the SEC, period. doesn't matter where you are. But I think the, the guy that has the best chance of turning it around is Butch Jones down there in Knoxville. He's got the resources. They've got the players. They just got to get things going. He can recruit. When he was at Central Michigan, he, he made the Chippewas into a contender. Dan LaFever was a Heisman candidate. Antonio Brown now in the NFL having success. Went to Cincy, did the same thing. He's got a great quarterback. You see Justin Worley there. They just couldn't stop anybody. They couldn't stop a nosebleed on defense last year. So what they do, they went out and signed a ton of high school kids on the defensive side of the ball. If they can stay healthy offensively, they've got everything they need. We know Bush Jones is getting paid. Now it's time for them to get some ROI on Rocky Top. Looking for a Kleenex for that nosebleed to help Tennessee. <laughs> Nothing up here. Who's costing their college an arm and a leg when it comes to college basketball coaches? Check out that video on CampusInsiders.com. Oh, here's one. Bye. Go send it down to Knoxville. <laughs>